Say it, Ryan. Ryan's been coming to our church here for a while. He's pretty quiet, so he might be the one of us that initiated this conversation with him. But he's part of your community. Christ died to bring you here. He placed him in this church for a reason, for you guys to love and encourage him. Vice versa. Let's pray for Ryan. Lord God, I, uh, I want to thank you for Ryan. Lord, I thank you for friendship. I thank you for this little boy, Denver. He's just a sweet little guy. I thank you for his willingness, for, 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 for Ryan's willingness to want to live for you. And I think of King David, who's, who you refer to as a man after your own heart. The guy really wanted what you wanted, but sometimes he failed. I guess it just exemplifies us all. We're all that way. Sir. And Ryan's no different, but it's his desire, as he shared with me, he wants to do good. He wants to live for you. But there's something different now. Your spirit lives inside of him. He's confessed you as Lord and Savior. And the truth of your word says that when we believe, Christ Jesus places his mark on us by giving us his Holy Spirit. So now, Lord, your spirit lives in Ryan, so he has someone that he can commune with, that he can draw strength from to say no to sin. Lord God, your word tells us that we're all, we all fail in many ways. We all still will, but we can do like Kelly said. When we fail, we can repent. We can turn back to you, Lord. And you will meet us right there with arms wide open, loving us, forgiving us. Lord, I ask for your blessing upon Ryan as he pursues his new career. I ask for your blessing upon him as he pursues this amazing, amazing endeavor called being a daddy. Help him with that. Protect him from the evil one who wants him. Be his, sh his sword and his shield. The word says, you're an ever-present help in time of trouble. Be that for this man. Thank you for that. And I know you've got great plans for him. Lord, when he is tempted to do the things of the enemy, let him remember this day, and this moment. Draw strength from him. And say no to sin and yes to Jesus. In his name we pray. Ryan, who's your one and only Lord and Savior? Based on that confession and that burial with Christ, and like him, you'd be raised to new life because you trust in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead and baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.